Joining me is Stephen Moore, former senior economic advisor to President Trump's campaign and distinguished fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Stephen, welcome, Ben. Hi, Wayne. President Trump is calling this a historic turnaround, as we heard, and he's taking credit. Is that accurate to call it that? Well, it certainly has been a turnaround since Donald Trump took office. I and mean, we saw what I call the Trump effect almost immediately after the election. You saw it in consumer and business confidence. And, you know, I think a lot of policies that Trump has put into effect have really helped bump up growth. And by the way, it's not just the growth numbers that are positive. Almost more importantly is, you know, we're seeing such great numbers in jobs. Um, you know, the tax cuts, the deregulation, the pro-American energy policies, I think those have all had a positive impact. Uh, the question is uh, whether this is sustainable. This is just one quarter of growth, and, you know, it's a really good number, mm. but we want to see that for four or five or six quarters. Um, and so, uh, but I think he deserves some of the credit, and I think even some of his critics are giving him the credit for this. Well, what do you think? Do you think that this is sustainable, or do you think inevitably we're going to have to hit some kind of an economic slowdown? Well, I, look, I was one of the people who told Donald Trump during the campaign we can get to 4 percent growth, and he used to say, I want 5 percent growth. That's just <laughs> like Trump. But, uh, no, I do think it is sustainable. You know, if you, if you, we're getting a lot of capital in from the rest of the world. Uh, now, what are the problem areas with the economy? One is trade. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to get a trade deal done. I, I was, I was very. Um, I was very happy with the deal that Donald Trump got with the Europeans. Now, that's just a handshake right now, so mm -hmm. we'll have to see whether this uh, turns out to be real. But, you know, lowering tariffs on both sides of the Atlantic, that's a great thing for uh, the global economy. Uh, by the way, trade, uh, you know, this is a Catholic uh, show. Trade is one of the most important things to reduce world poverty. You know, the more mm -hmm. trade you have, the more uh, you're, you actually, the people who benefit the most from trade are the lowest income people in the world. Um, the other thing is, do we have enough workers in this country to fill the jobs? You know, mm -hmm. I gave a talk last week to to major manufacturers and you know we were talking about the good economic numbers and a lot of them came up to me the men and women who run these companies and said our problem is we don't have the workers to fill the jobs and if that happens that's gonna maybe slow down growth so we've got to figure out how to get more people in the workforce well, when it comes to the issue of trade and exports obviously people are concerned about the tariffs too not only yeah. tariffs that the president is imposing but then retaliatory yes, exactly. tariffs from other countries right. what impact do you think that's going to have well, that's why I think what happened on, on Wednesday, that yeah. when, the, when the Europeans came to town, and, you know, the, we were worried about a trade war with, uh, with Europe. Trump had put on the table a 20 percent tariff on their imported cars. If you're a country like Germany, the, you know, those are the BMWs and the Mercedes. The, they, they sell a lot of cars in the United mm -hmm. States. So they basically said, look, don't impose this tariff. We'll reduce our tariffs. That, by the way, that's the outcome Donald Trump wanted. He's not a trade protectionist. His, his view was, we just want a level playing field. You know, if we're lowering our tariffs, you got to lower yours, and I think you got a deal there. The big, you know, the big enchilada here is China, yeah. because China is the second biggest world economy. We're in a big dispute with them, when we are in a tit for tat trade war with them. So I'm hopeful that we see a resolution with this that uh, that lowers that. You know, China does. They're a big problem. They cheat. They steal. We estimate uh, as much as half a trillion dollars a year of stolen American uh, intellectual property and so on. But you know, look, I'm, I you know, I agree with what Trump said. Today, the United States economy is growing faster than any of our international um, developed country rivals, and um, we're doing it right. How do you think this strong economy will impact the midterms? Do you think the GOP will see a boost? You know, normally, it's hard to predict midterms, yeah. you know, especially this far out. But normally, when you've got a good economy, I was looking at the results of midterms going back 50 years. When the economy is healthy like this, the, uh, you know, the Republicans are going to lose seats. But... If this is the way people feel about the, because look, before the election, only three out of 10 Americans felt good about the economy. Today, it's seven out of 10. Mm -hmm. That's a big, big increase. So people are not, it mean, <coughs> means that people aren't in, in a bad mood today like they were two years ago. Okay, we'll be watching to see how all this plays out. Stephen Moore, former senior economic advisor to President Trump's campaign and distinguished fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Thanks so much. Well, it's nice to report some good news. Yeah, so, <laughs> thanks so.